Hello everyone, this is Paul from OrthoEvalPal and what I want to do today is a demonstration on a prone knee flexion test or a reverse Lasseg sign, okay? So we commonly think about a straight leg raise test as a great way to identify neural tension in the leg. Um, and with this gentleman, we do a straight leg raise test and he can get to about 75, 80 degrees with no reproduction of his pain. So. What we did is we um, assessed his hip and he had no intra-articular hip issues whatsoever. That looked good, but his pain is isolated right here um, on his left side. Now, what we did is we put him onto his stomach and we flexed the knee here, getting some neural tension in the quad on the right side. And that can hit those levels that are a little bit further up from L4. L4, L5, S1 do well with the straight leg raise test, but the prone knee flexion test is a great way to assess if it is um, you know, L3, L2. So we do know, we just looked at his MRI to find that he does have a, a large L3 nerve root compression uh, on the left side, but I just want to demonstrate one side to the other. So he flex his right knee. Any problems with that? No, no problems. Okay, we're going to bring that leg down and then we're going to take this one and we're going to flex him here. Tell me when it starts to bother you. Right there. Right there and the pain is starting back in this area, correct? Correct. So we're flexing his quad, getting neural tension. That puts a little more pull on that L3 nerve root and it reproduces his symptoms on completely the opposite side. So this is a really good test for identifying issues at you know, the L3, L2, L1 area. All right, so that is the prone flexion knee test and or the reverse Lasseg sign. Uh, if you like today's video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.